morning. For those of you who don't know, I'm the new principal here at Katahdin Middle High School, Heather Mitchell, and I just want to welcome all of you here as we celebrate these young ladies and gentlemen as they're inducted into the National Honor Society. And without further ado, I'd like to introduce Miss Rowena Harvey, and she'll get things started. I would like to welcome everyone as well. Um, I want to take a minute to uh, speak about how proud we are as a staff of, of everyone you see sitting for, before you. They've demonstrated the traits and qualities that we value. They epitomize the pillars of the National Honor Society, being scholarship, leadership, character, and service. Um, they role model all of these traits to their peers. They work diligently to maintain high academic standards, um, and we appreciate all they do to enhance the school and the community. And with that said, I'm going to introduce our president, um, Grady Ritchie. Good evening. All four pillars of the National Honor Society are very important, but tonight I will be speaking specifically about scholarship. When looking at the members of our National Honor Society, most see good people, leaders, or volunteers, but what is just as important is the academic effort that we students have put forth. To be an active citizen in the community, to be a leader, and to have strong moral character are all important factors in being an NHS member. But to meet all these expectations while also achieving and maintaining strong scholarship is an outstanding accomplishment. And all the existing and new members should be very proud of themselves for doing so. All members have very busy lives with time consuming commitments, yet they are still doing exceptional in their schoolwork and are very dedicated to their academics. Scholarship is not only academics and learning through a classroom, but it is also being creative and actively searching for problems to, to a, uh, for possible solutions to a problem. Exemplifying the characteristics of scholarship is not only important in being part of the National Honor Society, but it also pays and plays an important role in our lives and futures. To be a good scholar means you can represent yourself through your work and be rewarded with good grades. Being educated will help in life after high school, gaining us academic scholarships, college acceptances, jobs in the workforce, and more. With the knowledge we have now, and the knowledge we will gain, whatever we choose to do will benefit our society, because we will be educated citizens. This is why it is important to have scholarship. Thank you. Next will be Alexis Gardner reading about leadership. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school. In taking the initiative in class and school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to attain the same objective. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interests for the interest of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resource may exist in a country, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed. Thus, to lead a substantive charge to each of our members and to the candidates. Next is Melanie Craig reading character. Character. Character is the force within each individual which distinguishes that person from others. It gives each one individuality. It is that without which no one can respect oneself nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is this force of character which guides one through life and when once developed grows steadily. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant action, daily striving to make the right choice. The problem of character is the problem of self-control. We must be, in reality, what we wish to appear to others. By demonstrating such qualities as reliability, honesty, and sincerity, we may hope to prove by example that we value character. Okay. 
Next is Emily Nason speaking about scholarship. <clears throat> scholarship means a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. Uh, we should continue to learn even when formal education is ended, for education only ends with life. <laughs> Knowledge is one great element in life which leads to the highest success and can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past and the light which illuminates our future. Candidates have the charge to continually expand their world through opportunities inherent in scholarship. Next is Charlotte Hart speaking on service. Service can be described in various ways. In the routine of the day's work, many opportunities arise to help others. Willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or without recognition is the quality we seek in our membership. We are committed to the idea of volunteering our time and abilities to the creation of a better tomorrow. And, oh. <laughs> and now to begin inducting our new members of the National Honor Society. First off, we have Natalie Green. Natalie is a hard-working senior and has had lots of work experience, ranging from waitressing at the deli, working as a certified nurse assistant at Gardner Nursing Home, as well as currently working at Miss Teresa's daycare. She is very diligent in getting good grades and responsible with chores at home. In the past, she has donated her time to cleaning up trails, teaching kids how to wash their hands, volunteering at Gardner Nursing Home, and reading to elementary kids. After she graduates, Natalie wants to continue her education in college for uh, early childhood development, and eventually open her own daycare. Congratulations, Natalie, for being inducted into the National Honor Society. Our next inductee is Brianna Lane. Brianna Lane is a sophomore of a bright countenance and caring heart. She has been a solid example of all four pillars of the National Honor Society. She sings for Modern Band, the Washburn Memorial Cantata, and the Youth Choir at St. Benedict's Church. She has sung at All Aroostook Choir and volunteers to sing the National Anthem at games. When she isn't singing, she loves to spend her time reading or photographing nature. She has completed both a hunter safety and an ATV course. She also works hard to maintain the honor roll and stay on top of her studies, English being her favorite class. Outside of school, she gives back to the community by being a VBS tribe leader at St. Benedict's Bible School. She's a diligent worker as well, harvesting potatoes in the fall and blueberries in the summer. Once she graduates, Brianna plans to go to college to be a pediatric physical therapist. The next inductee is a kind, creative, passionate, amazing young lady, Miss Fiona Bray. She's a great leader, being her class president her freshman year and vice president this year. During her service activities, Fiona performs musical numbers at baccalaureate Memorial Day events, singing the national anthem at basketball games, as well as helping guitar classes and young students learn music. She also sings in the local church choir and is a community cantata member. She is always helping out at the St. Benedict's Church. 
She was the music instructor for Vacation Bible School, participating in the Shadow Drama Performance, and helping at the annual Bazaar and Valentine's Dinner. She worked at the Owl's Nest her freshman year and now works as a waitress at Deb's Deli. She is a high honor roll student with many achievements, such as being a student of the quarter, an all rustic band and chorus member, and an all state choir member. Although Fiona is just a sophomore, right now she is thinking about being a music teacher or a social worker in the future. I'm so proud of Fiona and how successful she has become so fast, and I think she is a wonderful lady to represent a member of the National Honor Society. Our next inductee tonight is Sam Boone. Sam is a dedicated member of his class, taking on the roles of both president and vice president in the past two years. In doing so, he aided in coordinating class fundraisers and getting everything in order for Cougar Fest. Sam is a diligent student, being named both student of the quarter and student of the year. In addition to all of this, he also reports to the school board as a student representative. Sam is a committed volunteer in the community and avidly partakes in events in the surrounding towns. In his free time, Sam likes to play basketball and lift weights. After high school, Sam does not know exactly what he wants to do, but he knows it will be something electrical. Congratulations, Sam. <laughs> the honor in presenting the next inductee, Mackenzie Landry. In her daily life, Mackenzie expresses the four pillars with ease. She has shown leadership in varsity soccer, basketball, and softball since her freshman year. Playing alongside her, I see how she shows leadership by helping her teammates. In the community, she has helped the Pee Wee Kids basketball program and so much more. She's been on the honor roll in her freshman and current sophomore year and gets high recognition in many of her classes. One of her hobbies that she takes pride in is dance. She's participated in dance since she was four years old and is one of her priorities. Whether it's on the field or in the classroom, Mackenzie clearly shows to the other members of me that she will do an excellent job representing and being part of the National Honor Society. Next is Connor Edwards. Connor Edwards is a perfect example of what it means to be an NHS member. Connor exemplifies the four pillars of the National Honor Society through leadership positions, community service and involvement, work positions, and awards. He showed leadership by being the team captain of the volleyball team his freshman year and earned all rustic honors as well. He works year round at Birch Point and also mows, mows various lawns during the summer. After high school, Connor plans on attending college, pursuing a degree in business, and intends on eventually running Birch Point. For these reasons and more, I believe Connor will make a great addition to our school's National Honor Society. Next up is Josh Martin. Josh Martin is a great example of what it means to be a part of NHS. Josh shows all the pillars of the National Honor Society through leadership, service, scholarship, and character. All throughout his freshman and sophomore year, years of high school, he has shown excellent leadership on multiple sports teams. He also puts a majority of his time into perfecting his craft in baseball and basketball. This paid off when he achieved all rustic for baseball his freshman year. He works throughout the summer mowing and throwing hay bales. After high school, he is undecided on what he, he's undecided for his future, and I believe that Josh will make an excellent addition to the National Honor Society. to announce the next inductee, my friend and fellow junior Caden Lane. Caden is a hard worker with a passion for the outdoors. 
He enjoys his days off from Quayley Ranch, going hunting, fishing, and cutting firewood using the skills he learned in Region 2's forestry program as the student of the quarter. When he's not driving tractors or running a skid steer, Caden helps his grandparents by shoveling their roof as well as volunteering at the Snow Sled Club with their trail work. He also loves trying new things such as learning to play the guitar in Mr. Roy's guitar class and snowboarding for the first time with the school at Big Rock Mountain. His hard work and passion for helping others is why I think Caden will be a great addition to the National Honor Society. Our next inductee is Emma Schmidt. Emma Schmidt is an outstanding example of a National Honor Society member. Throughout her past two years of high, high school, she has successfully achieved the four different pillars with her leadership positions, service activities, community activities, work experience, recognition, as well as awards. During her ninth grade year, she had been a member of student council, and during her ninth and 10th grade year, she had also been chosen to be a class officer, taking the role of secretary. She showed her leadership during her years of managing baseball, basketball, and soccer, and was also a cast member for the drama club. During the summer, she participated in summer school and has been involved in several service activities and community activities. She works at Shimpon Village and also babysat during her ninth grade year. She has also received second place in STEM fair, has gotten awards for honor roll, and academic excellence for all classes. After graduation, Emma plans on going to college and is deciding what she wants to go for. I believe that Emma will make an excellent, excellent addition to the National Honor Society for these reasons in addition to many more. <clears throat> Shelby Libby is a distinguished example of a National Honor Society member. Throughout her past three years, she has successfully achieved the four different pillars with her leadership positions, service activities, community activities, work experience, recognition, as well as awards. Throughout her 10th and 11th grade years, she has demonstrated numerous leadership positions, including helping with Green Valley with their games and barbecue, coaching at basketball camp, being a captain for the girls' soccer team, and managing the boys' basketball team. She has participated in multiple service activities through her freshman year to her junior year, including the food pantry at the Patton Church, grooming the local snowmobile trails with her dad, volunteering at Katahdin basketball camp, and volunteering at a snow sled cup meeting. She has been very dedicated to our school's athletic programs, participating in basketball and soccer her ninth and 10th grade year, and soccer her 11th grade year. She has also worked at Christ Clam Shop during her ninth and 10th grade years. She has received the awards and recognition of Honor Roll and All Stick Soccer. Shelby will make an excellent addition to the National Honor Society for these reasons, in addition to many more. Please repeat after me. I pledge myself, I pledge myself to, uphold the high purpose of this society to uphold the high purpose of this society for which I have been selected, for which I have been selected striving in every way, striving in every way by word and deed, by word and deed to make its ideals, to make its ideals the ideals of my school and of my life. The ideals of my school and of my life. I pledge to maintain high scholastic standing. I pledge to maintain high scholastic standing. To hold as fundamental and worthy. To hold as fundamental and worthy. An untarnished character. An untarnished character. To endeavor intelligently and courageously. To endeavor intelligently and courageously. To be a leader. To be a leader. And to give of myself freely. And to give of myself freely. In service to others. In service to others. In doing so, in doing so, I shall prove myself worthy. I shall prove myself worthy of a place in the National Honor Society. Of a place in the National Honor Society. Please extinguish your candles. You can all be
be seated. Congratulations, everyone. Uh, so I'm going to give the new members some certificates and some pins. Um, the certificates, as you can see, are very nice. You can frame those or um, I guess I've run out of options to bring them up. <laughs> <laughs> or, uh, <laughs> so the, um, you're also going to sign, we have, we have a, a, a book of all new members that we've been keeping since 2007. I also have lists of every NHS member that ever graduated from Katahdin High School, even since 1967, if anybody wants to check to see if their name's on there. Because <laughs> uh, once you're a member, you're always a member. So our first, our first uh, new inductee is Natalie Green. And don't forget to sign the book. Shelby Libby. You're welcome. Josh Martin. These, these are in no particular order, by the way. Just congratulations, Josh. Connor Edwards. Emma Schmidt. <laughs> Sam Boone. Thank you. You're welcome. Fiona Ammerman. Caden Lane. Thank you. You're welcome. Brianna Lane. Mackenzie Landry. Um, now I'll give certificates for current members. Um, and the first one I'm going to announce is uh, someone who's not able to be here, they're away. Um, that would be Alexis Fitzpatrick. Um, these are all seniors, so along with their certificate, they're going to get the yellow rose, which is the flower of the National Honor Society. And, um, well, that's it for now, I guess. Uh, so the first one is Grady Ritchie. As, as you all know, Grady's president this year. Thank you. You are welcome. Melanie Craig. Alexis Gardner. Not very far to go. Charlotte Hart. Jeffrey Martin.
Emily Nason. Maggie O'Hara. Chloe Rickards. Laura Lee Wimmer. Riley Ryan. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's get you. Cameron Rush. And I'm also going to give a flower to Natalie Green since she's a senior. And last but not least, I'd like to present a certificate to Caden Higgins, who was our vice president junior member this year. Normally at this time, too, we always give um, the stole that seniors will wear during graduation. Um, but we had a little problem with supply chain. So they didn't, haven't come in yet, so I'll show you what those look like. But they'll, they'll all be wearing those at graduation. Um, I just want to say again, congratulations to all the new members. And I shout out of appreciation to all the current members um, and, and being such exemplary students for our school and our community. Um, and I'm going to now introduce Caden Higgins, who's going to give a speech on character. The importance of character. A person's character is often overlooked, yet it is one of the most important things a person can possess. It is a reflection of a person's beliefs and their ethics. Character is who we are when nobody's looking. It is our inner self. In today's world, there's a lot of emphasis on one's appearance and achievements. We tend to judge other people based on what they look like, what they do, and what they have. However, these things are not qualities of a person's character. A person with a good character is someone who possesses qualities such as honesty, integrity, responsibility, and respect for others. These are not things that can be bought or earned. They are qualities that come from within and are a result of a person's upbringing, their experiences, and their values. This is why character is one of the four pillars that this society is based upon. Abraham Lincoln once wrote, Character is like a tree, and reputation like its shadow. The shadow is what we think of it. The tree is the real thing. We cannot know a person's character. Sorry. <laughs> we cannot know a person's character based on what we see on the outside. So the next time you find yourself with someone you don't know, don't be afraid to introduce yourself, for you cannot judge a book by its cover. We have cupcakes and water bottles out in the lobby if anybody wants to help themselves to them. And everyone drive safe on your ride home tonight. Thank you, Katie. Um, I just wanted to also invite people to take pictures. Um, if you would like to take pictures and get photo opportunity, we have Kelly. Some, oh, there she is. Uh, she's been taking pictures all evening. But if you would like to take pictures of, of these young people, um, please feel free. We'll have some photo opportunities. And thank you for everyone for coming in. Uh, we appreciate your support.